Hello lovely Fordham Recorder Club. We are going to do some Recorder Club from home. Sorry parents. Um, we're going to go through the basics today, making sure we're holding our recorder nicely um, and making sure that we're making a really nice sound before we get working on our music. So any of the resources from today, I will link down below the YouTube video as a free PDF um, and you can open them to practice along to um, when this video is done. So I'll show it on the screen, but I'll link it down below, just below this YouTube video. Okay, let's start holding our recorder. This end is the end that you blow into. This end is where the lovely dribble falls out. This is where your sound comes out. Okay, so this is where all of the sound from your recorder escapes from. We're gonna start holding it. Left hand at the top, right hand at the bottom. Do your L for left, if you're not sure. You get your L on your left hand, put it at the top, and your R, R for right, and your right hand at the bottom. Here on the back of your recorder is your first little hole. Your thumb on your left hand has to go over that hole all of the way. It must completely cover that hole. If you struggle to cover it, if little hands struggle to cover it, um, put a bit of tape over the back um, because if you don't cover this hole up properly, it'll make a really horrible, nasty, whistly sound. So parents, if you've got little hands, um, so years one, sort of early years year one, do just pop a bit of tape over the back and it'll make it a little bit more bearable to hear. So left hand, thumb over this hole, and then one, two, three fingers, floating little pinky finger. One, two, three, four fingers. So this is how we put our fingers on the recorder. So here it is again, left hand, l, thumb over the back, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So I suggest you pick up your recorders and you practice holding them for a little while. Just practice having your thumb under here, having three fingers on, just practice holding it nicely. If you can't hold it nicely, you're gonna get some horrible sounds coming out. Now, let's talk about blowing into your recorder. Never ever blow too hard, especially if there's anyone in your house working from home, because it makes a nasty sound. And we do not make nasty sounds at Recorder Club. We only make lovely musical sounds. So this, <coughs> sorry, is the sound you get when you blow too hard. This <coughs> is the lovely musical sound that you get. Never blow too hard into your recorder. Last little basic thing then is how we start a note. We don't just blow like <laughs> to start your note. Every note you play must have a little t with your tongue on the front of it. Every night note goes two, two, two with a t, t, t. So rather than <laughs> which is me doing that, <laughs> we have So you get a much nicer, much crisper, much more bearable sound. So that is all the basics of your recorder. Let's do a little bit of basics of the music theory we did. We're going to start with the note B. B is on the middle line. So B is on the middle line of your music. And B is with your top hand, thumb and first finger. This is the note B. Let's all play a B together. So we shouldn't have any horrid whistly sounds. We should just have one nice musical tone. Let's play a B together again. After four, one, two, three, four. Okay, now we've played a B. Let's learn our first piece of music. I'm gonna hold it up here. And we are only using the note B today. We're not gonna use any other notes, just the note B. And we're gonna play this first little line of music. Now, when we did Recorder Club, we spoke about how if you have 
a jelly bean with a walking stick, a filled in jelly bean with a walking stick. This is a crotchet and this is one beat long. So we're going to call it T. T, 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 T. <gasps> What's this one? This one isn't coloured in. This one is empty. This note is worth two beats. This is a minim. So we call an empty jelly bean with a walking stick a bia. It's a bia. So this rhythm goes T, 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 bia. So this is beer. Then we have two more T's, two more beers, and a squash. So this is a squash. Squash is worth four beats. This is a semi brief squash. So from the beginning, reading our music, it goes T, 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 B, T, T, B, B, squash. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play the piece of music to you. If you're already really confident, you can play along with me. Then we're going to do another couple of versions just for me clapping and speaking along so you can practice along with my claps. So this is our first piece of music, the beginner's bounce. Our note is on the middle line. It's a B, so thumb and first finger. And it goes one, two, three, four. Now let's practice it again together. This time I'm going to clap and I'm going to say the drink names as we go through. Ready? One, two, three, four. T, 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 B, A, T, T, B, A, B, A, squash. And now let's try again. I'm going to clap, but I'm not going to say the drinks. I want you to try and read your notes and remember that whether they are teas, beers or squashes. Ready? One, two, three, four. Okay, last one. Let's play it together one more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, when you have done a little bit of practice, please pop your videos of you playing your recorders on Seesaw and I will have a look through and I will try and find some of your little musical videos so I can send you a little message back. So thank you everybody. I will upload some new videos as soon as I can. Hope you're all being good at home and looking after each other. See you soon.